Hi, today we're going to see how to create a text portrait effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. Now press minus on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the color of this layer to black. So I'm just going to drag the foreground color. And now I'm going to bring my image. So this is the image I'm going to use. I'm going to drag to GIMP. And now I'm going to move down this layer here. So select the move tool. In order to move it on the same line here, keep the control key down while moving this layer. So I'm going to move it here. So I'm going to paste it here like this. So here it is. And now right click on the woman layer, layer to image size. And now I'm going to desaturate this layer. So go to colors, saturation. And now bring the scale slider all the way down. So here it is, and I'll press OK. And now I'm going to increase the contrast on this women layer. So go to colors, brightness, contrast. And now I'm going to increase the contrast and then increase the brightness till I get the result, the result I want. So here. So I think here it's OK. So let's see the preview to check the before and after. So here's the before, here's the after. It gives it a more kind of dramatic effect. And I'll press OK. And now I'm going to create my text. So select the text tool. The font I'm using is Crimson Text Bold. The size is 15. I check the anti-aliasing. And here for the justify, I'm going to start with this one here. Left justified. And here for the spacing, I'm going to use minus one for the spacing between lines here and the minus one between letters. So now I'm going to left click here outside and then drag to create big text box here. So here it is. And now I'm going to select the text. You can add any text you want. I will put the link of the image and the text I'm going to use in the description box. So I saved my text notepad. So here it is. Selected everything. So control C to copy. And now I'm going to click on the game window. And here, left click here, control. So make sure the foreground is white. We need the white text. Since we're going to use layer mask, reveal the women here. Make sure the foreground is white. We need the white text. And then left click here on the text box. And then control V. And then add control V. It doesn't appear because the text is quite small. But here's the cursor. So here it is. Then keep pressing control V. So keep the control V here down then to copy so you want to fill all the layer so here it is i filled all the layer here so now i'm just going to select another tool here to exit the text box and now right click layer to image size and now what i'm going to do i'm going to hide the text select the women layer right click on it add layer mask and then check the black full transparency layer mask and then add so on layer max, the black represents transparency and the white opacity. So here it's showing the black layer under. So if I hide it, so it's transparent. So now we're going to copy the white text here we created on the layer mask. So it will reveal the face of the women here. So now control C, so here, control C on the text layer. So let's hide it, select the Layer mask, make sure to select the layer mask. There's an outline around it and then control V. So here, as you can see, it's floating selection. So just click here to anchor the floating selection. So here it is. And now I'm going to merge down these two layers. So click on the second, the women layer here and the background layer. So for the text layer, this one here, I'm going to delete it. This is our text layer. And here we only have the women layer and the background layer. So merge them down. So here it is. And now I'm going just to increase the exposure here to reveal the women's face. So go to colors, exposure. So I'm just going to, so here it's too much. So if I click on the game window, press the plus in my keyboard to zoom in. So here you can see text. So I think here it's okay. So here it will darken from the other one. So here just want to keep the contrast and then just brighten it. So here I think it's okay, press okay. So here it is. 
That's how you can create a text portrait effect in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.